Forever, O Lord, your word is settled in heaven. Your faithfulness endures to all generations. You establish the earth and it abides. They continue this day according to your ordinances. And let the people say amen. It is a new season, Gifted Podcast listening community, and we are glad to serve you. Our primary purpose for this podcast is to make the word of God as practical as possible. God continue to bless you as you devote your time to the hearing of the word of God. Introducing the teaching ministry of Pastor Kwame. My name is Stephanie. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. There is a season and an appointed time for God to do what he has promised that he would do. The Bible says when the fullness of time came, the Lord sent his son Jesus Christ. And the Bible says that if God gave his only begotten son, then he will give you all things freely. Just trust and obey. Respond to God positively. And he will do what he said he would do. Eternal Father, we come before you to give you thanks all the time for you are good and your mercies endure forever. We ask that you will cause us to know you, to love you and to hold on to you. I pray for everybody, wherever they are, whatever level they find themselves. Be our strength. Bring us forward. Bring us to your side. Pray for healing in our bodies. We pray for healing in our minds. Pray for healing in our souls. Pray for healing in our spirits. We thank you because you are good. And your mercies endure forever. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen, and amen, amen, amen. All right, so love is not finishing anytime soon. Love believes all things. First Corinthians chapter 13. Love believes all things. Love believes all things. I am sure that you are not very um, kind of. First and foremost, you don't want to think that this is a good thing you know love believes all things you know because it looks like only children believe everything the more you are mature and the more you grow you realize that not everything should be believed you don't believe everything you test things and you, you check this out but in the context with which Paul is teaching, he is dealing with human to human relationship, how the church ought to love one another. So it's not just outside the kind of the confines of relationship. It's not like believing facts and believing uh, stories, myth and fables. That's not what he's saying. He's talking about actually when it comes to relationship what love does and what's that, that's what I'm going to share today love believes all things so quick five things that we always share so what does it mean love believes all things so to believe in a person is love to believe in a person is love to believe in a person is love. You believe in a person, so it's easy to believe in a person who believes in themselves. It is easy to believe in a person who is doing well. It is easy to believe in a person you can trust. It's easy to believe in a person that delivers. But love understands that if I love you then I have to believe in you regardless and so to believe in a person means that even if they are down and broke and destroyed you believe that there is a good thing that must come out of their life you believe that there is still precious life that can pick up 
itself together and do well. You don't write anybody off no matter how low they are because love says I believe all things as in in this instant I still believe that he can come back strong. In this instant I still believe that she can put her life together. In this instant I still believe that this marriage will work. In this instant I still believe that this addiction will be broken. At this instant I still believe that you understand that. So love believes all things because love doesn't treat people based on where they are by treats people based on where they can be so that's the first thing love believes all things and to believe in a person is to love the person if you believe in somebody you will love that person if you love that person you believe in them so it's very important that you believe in people now love We'll go, let me go on. Maybe we'll touch on that. Number two, love always starts on a positive note. Love always starts on a positive note. Do you understand that? Love always starts on a positive. Most of you, you don't start things on a positive note. You usually start things on a negative note because your last note was negative. You, you live your life by fi- trying to you don't trust people you don't start on a positive note but you start on a negative note and you hope that they play a positive note in other words you you don't trust people st- off the bat you know you you have a sense of human beings are bad so i don't trust people but love never does that. Love always starts on a positive note. And it's risky, but love does that. Love, love is risky. Love does that. Love will start on a positive note. You know, love will not ignore signals and warnings, but the point is love will always start on a positive note. And like the positive note is still connected to point number one, which is love who approach you with the understanding that love believes in you so here is it here is the thing love will not treat you what you deserve because what happens is that love is coming to you with a oh thank you god with a better version of yourself in her belief system love is approaching you with a better version of yourself in her belief system even though you might not be all put together and all complete love believes that there's a better version of you and that is where love starts from do you understand love believes that there's a better version of my wife love believes that there's a better version of my daughter and i believe that it has sunk into my heart and that is where i approach my wife from that's where i approach my children from so love doesn't look at the situation but love looks at the belief of the better that will come out of the situation. And so love will start on that note and speak from that angle and bring that reality into the situation. Because love has come to believe that the best is yet to come. So love always starts on a positive note because love leads from a belief to reality. Number three, love gives you free belief to use. Love gives you free belief to use. In times when you don't believe in yourself, love will give you free belief to use. In times when you doubt that something's going to happen, love will give you a free belief. You understand what a free belief is? Pretty much it means that love will believe in you when you don't believe in yourself. Love believes in you when you don't believe in yourself. Now, you can do a study on believe all things and you might get caught up with the word all things but the key word is believe key word is believe and love will make love is love is full of belief 
love cannot run out of belief. The power of love is in the belief. If love doesn't fail, if love can do all things, it is because love is full of belief. Love is full of beliefs. I can tell you if you love your partner, you believe in them. But all their lies, all their shortcomings, all their character flaws, you will look past that and still believe in them because you and let me I'll go to believe a little bit before we close because you understand that if I don't believe in you, you can never change. Somebody must believe in you for you to change. Somebody must believe in you for you to do better. Somebody must believe. There's a power in believing in somebody. There's a power in believing that something will change. There's power in believing. Believing is not just a state of mind. Believing is a gateway. Amen. If you don't believe that your marriage will be better, it will never be better. And it has nothing to do with the marriage. It has everything to do with your belief system. If you believe your children will do well, they will do well. If you believe, so you have to believe that and it will open the door for it to happen. So love gives you free belief. When it comes to a place where you don't believe anymore, so, so to live and not believe is to die. Anybody who is alive and doesn't believe in any good thing, they shouldn't waste, they shouldn't waste their time living. Because belief is how you bring the impossible. Love support people nobody believes in. You understand that? Love support people nobody believes in because love understands that the reason nobody believes in you is because they don't love you. If you love them, you believe in them. And so love comes and says, you know what? I believe in you because I love you. And I love you, that's why I believe in you. And if you need me to believe in you for this, I'll believe in you for that. If you need me to believe in you to do better, I do. Whatever you need me to believe in you for, I will do it. That's what love says. Because love understands that until you get somebody to believe in you for bigger things, you might not be able to accomplish it. So love supports people nobody believes in. Love supports people nobody believes in. Love stretch out and say, I don't care what anybody says, I believe in you. You are not even the lifestyle you are leading. You are not sin. You are not a, 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 like a, a nobody. You are a precious person and I believe in you. That's what love does. All right. So let me finish by talking about love understands that belief is the raw material for everything. You understand that? So, when Paul says love believes all things, it means that love understands why she must believe all things. Because the basis for all things is belief. Do you understand? Once you stop believing that things will get better, once you stop believing that addiction will be broken, once you stop believing that you will do well, once you stop believing that God will not put you to shame, once you stop believing all of that, what you have done is you have shut down all the gates that those things can happen. So believe is how all things happen. And so, love now says, I don't fail. The reason is because I believe all things. And I believe all things so that all things can happen around me. Do you understand that? So, believing is necessary for all things. You have to believe that things will work well. You have to believe that you will do better. You have to believe that you'll be healed. You have to believe that. And believing 
that and so in this particular context to be precise believing in one another is how you improve the relationship among yourselves believing in one another in the midst of their flaws in the midst of their negative behavior believing in them is how you grow in everything but too often we don't believe in ourselves and we don't believe in one another and we don't understand that looking at their behavior to conclude that you don't believe in them is actually the reason why they will never change looking at their character and concluding that you don't believe in them is the reason why their character is the same the proper way is to understand that i believe in you so your life will be better as soon as you believe in somebody who is not doing right you have given them the doorway for them to do right you understand it's counterintuitive but that's the truth when you believe in one another that i believe in my wife my wife believes in me then you elevate your marriage above just your character you understand because love understand that the raw material for anything is belief if something new will happen because somebody believed it first if something will happen from god somebody must believe god for that thing do you understand and so love is able to do all things because love knows where to go get it done which is to believe it first and once you believe it then you receive it so that is really why love believes all things because love understands that if i don't believe all things i can do all things there shouldn't be anything that will come to my office say it's love that i don't believe it you understand so love believes in all things that's why love can do all things because once you stop believing you stop seeing so i want to finish by saying this make up your mind that you are going to believe the best in people make up your mind that you're going to believe the best in situations be very very kind of be very very positive that things will work out because that's what love says so Paul says love believe all things believe in each other i hope i've made it clear that if you use what you are looking at to shape your belief you are not doing life properly if what you are looking at is how you decide what you believe in then you are going to be a product of your reality let me say it again if you are looking at what is going on and therefore conclude on what you are going to believe you are going to be a victim of your environment in other words you look at the condition of the marriage you look at the condition of the children you look at the condition of the virus you look at the condition of the situation and then you make your conclusion that now i believe that men are very very irresponsible i believe that women can stop gossiping i believe that most men are cheating i believe that my husband is not right i believe that this will not end well i believe that my friends are always going to be double standard with me so you are building your belief system based on the data that supports it you are looking at the circumstance the situation the reality and you are building your belief on it that's for me i believe in the fact that you must hide this and that because people cannot be trusted i believe that pastors are fake i believe that this 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 so 
that is your belief based on your experience and so what you are doing is that you are recycling your experience you understand you are recycling your experience because what you believe is what you get pregnant with believe is how you get pregnant and then it breaths out so you're looking at a husband who is cheating and you believe that men cheat and so you are always going to encounter cheating men not because men cheat but because that is what you are giving birth to in front of you your belief shapes your world both in your action and what you attract you understand so what you believe is going to shape your life so your belief is like a is like a radio station if you turn the radio to 93.5 you're only going to hear the music that is being played by that station so what you turn your belief to is what god will channel to your life so once you see the negative things like the earth was formless and darkness was upon the face of the deep god did not believe in just that god believed in light so god said let there be light and there was light in darkness you understand that god did not believe in darkness was upon the face of the deep and all of that god didn't believe in that god believed in light and so change came into the darkness so if you want change to come into your life you must believe the change first and that's what love does love believe in the change love believes that this thing will work love believes that this girl will work and sometimes we get so beaten that we don't believe anymore but love believes that God will bless the work of your hands and bring success hallelujah eternal father help us to believe Amen.